This social story is about company coming. I'm not coming out of my room. Not doing it. No, no, no. What? Company is coming. I know what you mean. I have to pick up all my toys because my mom's invited my aunties and cousins to dinner and I don't like it. Oh, even your superheroes? You have to put them away? Oh, what are you going to do? Well, I don't want to, but my mom say that if I don't, my cousins will play with my toys and that makes me nervous. I hate when we have company. Everyone wants to hug me and I don't like it. I'm going to stay in my room. Yeah, me too. Stay in my room. Stay in my room. Stay, Stay in, in my room. room. Hey, guys. What's all the yelling about? Company is coming to my house, and I don't want them here. They want to hug me, and they touch my stuff, and I don't like it. Yeah, I don't want to put my, my superheroes away, stupid company. Well, you both sound like you're upset. Let's take a minute to check in. Put your hand on your tummy and say, calm down. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. Checking in is supposed to help you calm down and make a plan. Oh, I don't feel calm. I feel mad. And I feel nervous. Those are both big feelings, and you know a big feeling can take control of you if you don't take control of it. You're right. Put my hand on my tummy and say, calm down. Let me try. Calm down. Feeling calm? Yeah, a little bit. Me too. Good. Now you're ready to make a plan. Like stay in my room? Staying in your room might make people think that you don't like them. Well, I love my aunties and my cousins, and I don't want them to feel bad. Well, I love my mom. I don't want them to be upset. You both sound ready to make a plan. A, a plan? plan? Yes, a plan to show your company that you love them and stay calm at the same time. First, think about what is making you feel nervous about having company. I don't like when my grandma hugs me so tight. Her perfume is smelly. And I don't like it when my cousins touch my superheroes. Yes, this is excellent. You both understand what makes you uncomfortable about having company. Once you know why you feel uncomfortable, you can make a plan to let everyone know. Once your company knows what makes you feel uncomfortable, they won't do it and you can have fun when they come over. You mean if I tell my grandma that her perfume is smelly, then she won't wear it? I bet she won't. Your grandma loves you, but she can't read your mind. If she doesn't know that you don't like her perfume, then she'll keep wearing it. She will think you don't like to hug her because you... Don't like her. Just make sure you tell her in a gentle way. Like, Grandma, your perfume is smelly and I don't like it. A more gentle way to say that is, Grandma, I love you, but your perfume makes me feel uncomfortable. I can do that. Grandma, your perfume makes me feel uncomfortable. Excellent. How about you? Don't touch my stuff. Yikes. Would you, would you like it if your cousin said that to you? Well, I guess not. My cousins always let me play with their toys. Well, I don't know. How about, how about we play a game or do a puzzle together? That's a great idea. Tell them what you like to do with them. That way your cousins will know that you love them. You might want to tell them that touching your superheroes makes you feel nervous. Well, I know, I know. I, I, I'll say, let's play a game or do a puzzle. When other people touch my superheroes, it makes me feel nervous. Well, that's great. 
You both found gentle ways to tell people how you feel when you have company. It really is nice when my grandma comes over. She always brings my favorite cookies. My cousins are really cool and I like playing games with them. See, it can be fun to have company once you let your company know what makes you feel uncomfortable. I just hope no one puts gross food on my plate. I hate it when the food on my plate is touching. What could you do to help them know how you feel? Could I tell my grandma weird food makes me nervous? Your grandma loves you, but she can't read your mind. Yes, you really know what to do so you feel comfortable when people come to your house. Let your company know what makes you feel uncomfortable. And then we can have fun when company comes over. Having company can be fun!